Hi, this is PD at Bergsberg Arcade at BergsbergArcade.com and this is tutorial 237. Now in our last tutorial we had just started really working with our UI toolkit from Prime31. I want to take a step back right now and go back to um, our character when he's equipping items. And I didn't actually test a character with hair when I was equipping items. So if we actually go ahead and try to put an item on, well, a hat that is, so I got a hat in that chest. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my inventory and double click it and wow you know it doesn't look very good does it uh, let me close my inventory I'm going to switch over to the scene view and select my player and zoom in on a bit rotate it around just a smidge uh, like the size isn't right he's got hair sticking through uh, if we actually select the hat uh, we'll notice you know the sizes are a little bit different because of the scaling of our character and uh, well the hair if we just actually deactivated the hair it, it's still not right because you have the the scale or the um, scalp poking through in your character uh, it's, it, there's a lot of ways we could actually fix this and since I have already moved on I, I know I am coming back to revisit this I just wanted like a quick fix for uh, kind of a visual aesthetics uh, what I'm going to do is um, everything that goes on my head should be the same scale and my hair actually has that scale. I've actually been just using 4.2. If I were to turn my hair back on and um, well it's pretty close to 4.2 all of them. If I were to copy this over and paste it in, uh, I've read to copy Helps turn that back on and that off and make sure you actually put some values in, not 0.42, <laughs> not having the easiest time today. And then we're going to go ahead and look at our character here, let me just select the whole thing. You know, it's a pretty good fit. Let me just shrink this down just a bit so we can get off of them. Uh, so 4.2 is my base, what I'm going to do for now is actually take our hat when we're going to equip it. So let me head over to uh, Mono Develop. And we're going to come into the PC script. And this is where we're actually equipping our, our, um, our hat. So let me just scroll down a bit. Uh, we'll be above here. Uh, here's where we're getting our local scale loading up. This is what we're scaling our character by when we first load it up. And right here is actually where we're equipping the headgear. Uh, there's going to be a few steps I want to do in here uh, right after I do the parenting. Uh, well, there's a couple, you could do them in a different order. But for now, the order I'm going to do is instantiate the item, uh, set its parent, and of course, if you notice where I'm instantiating it, I'm instantiating it at the point of uh, where the player's head is and making it face the right way. Uh, then I'm going to parent it. And then after that, I want to scale. And then after that, I want to hide player hair. And like I said, for now, I'm just going to hide the player hair, but uh, when we come back to revisit it, uh, if you notice, if we actually do hide the player hair, we're going to lose all his facial hair as well. And if you remember back when we were looking at the hair, we have it divided up into sets. And if we just get the base, the base one of that set, which I believe is the index zero for it, it actually is just the, the facial hair. So that, that's basically what we want to load. And there's kind of two ways we can go about doing that. Here, I'm just going to open it up and show you how the hair gets hidden whoops that's fine it's in play mode that won't be saved uh, but yeah the hair if we just disable it we get rid of all the facial hair we don't want that uh, we'll head back into mono develop now the two basic ways that we can fool around with the hair is uh, we could have the regular hair that he has you know that we made our character with and then when we put his hat on uh, we can take that index of that player's hair, figure out what the base one is. Uh, we already have that little algorithm too in our, uh, I believe it's the character generation script. Uh, but we can grab what the base hair is of it, which is just the facial hair, 
and basically load that one up, put it on, take the old one off, and you know basically destroy the old one. And then when he takes his you know helmet off or whatever he's wearing on his head, uh, load the original hair back up, put that on, take the one with just the facial hair, and take that off and throw it away. Uh, another option could be to actually separate the hairs. Um, basically, take the um, when your character loads up, put the facial hair on and have it separated from the hair that's actually on his head. And we can just toggle that hair on and off, off on his head. Uh, it requires a little bit more work, but it might actually be you know, a little bit easier in the end. Uh, the way I'm probably going to end up ultimately doing it is I'm going to load both sets of hair up. So he's going to have uh, like the base set, the one that's at index zero, which is just the facial hair. And then he has the other one, which is like all the hair, including the head hair or if he's bald or whatever. And I'll just toggle between the two. So when he puts his hat on, I'm already going to have both loaded up and in position and basically just activate and deactivate whatever one needs to be activated. I think that's a pretty easy way to do it. And resource wise, I don't really see it being any heavier than the others. Uh, but anyway, uh, to get some real simple scaling going here, I already know that my head item has to be the exact same um, scale as my all my hairs and all my head items and all my hair items are the same. And there's a few ways we can go about doing this. So if yours are not the same, uh, you might want to come down and take a look at how we're loaded the character scale up. And you might actually want to grab that scale and uh, figure out how you're going to apply it to your item to get it to fit right. Um, there, there's there's quite a few ways that you could do, but since I know everything that I have was all scaled the same, all I'm going to do is just say mesh, uh, which is the headpiece that uh, I'm creating up here when I'm instantiating. And I'm going to say dot transform dot local scale is equal to, and then what I want to do is grab my head mount or hair mount, sorry, hair mount dot transform dot get child and there should only ever be one there uh, so it will be dot zero or sorry zero in the uh, parentheses and then I want dot local scale so I'm just, just taking the the uh, local scale of the hair and assigning it to the hat and uh, I'm actually gonna hide the hair as well uh, I have no way to unhide it after I put the hat on, but right now I don't have a way to take a hat off anyway uh, by itself. So we'll just say hair mount dot transform dot uh, get child. Sorry, I was just thinking about how I was going to make a function later on to take care of this for us, but for now we'll just have this one line of code. And so we're grabbing the transform. Uh, we're getting a child. We're getting the first child. Uh, this returns a transform. Uh, let's get its game object. And it's, uh, I believe it's, I thought it was the enable property. It might not be. Uh, it might be active. Uh, let me just take a look in Unity. I'll uh, we'll just grab something. I'm forgetting blanking on off the top of my head what that's called that property uh, let me just check transform dot okay I think I think it might be active I thought it was enabled uh, but let's just try this out if this isn't it well we'll just quickly look it up and we'll uh, fix it let me just see what the error is uh, okay I'm doing something wrong here Oops, I'm not actually assigning anything to it. There we go. All errors are cleared, so let's go ahead. We'll start this up. We'll go over, grab a chest. Hopefully there's a headpiece in the first one. Uh, nope, so I'm just going to open up the second one. And there we go. we got a couple in there. So I'll come over, hit the inventory, put my bandana on. Turn around, and hey, well, look, the hair's gone. He's got his bandana on now. And if I put the Hume on, there we go. We've got the Hume on. Everything's scaled right. Uh, nothing poking through. Uh, let me move forward a little bit here. And yep, 
everything's working great there. Anyway, that was just a little quick fix I wanted to do because I actually have a uh, the demo up on the website for people to play around with. And uh, that I didn't realize that until after I uploaded and loaded up my character who on the uh, the web version, I actually have hair and well, it was just annoying me. So I wanted to fix that right away. Anyway, here's a quick little tutorial for you and uh, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.